The Lutheran Church Missouri Synod is a mission church body. And as a mission church body, we together in convention passed a resolution that created the Office of International Missions so that together we can have a well-defined and coordinated approach to bringing the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ so that all may come to know the forgiveness and the eternal life that he has given to us. It's all about planting churches, building up the household of faith, and that includes working with partner churches, our historical partners in Brazil and Argentina. Currently, the LCMS is on track for doubling the number of career missionaries. We have around 120, 125 career missionaries. Back in the Synodical Convention of 2013, we had 68. So that's a massive increase for OIM and also does pose some challenges and opportunities for missionary care on the field. Much of my time and energy is focused on missionaries, especially their wives and their children, and hearing what their needs are and working with the rest of our team to coordinate support to meet those needs. A recent example of physical care on the field happened when one of our missionary families deployed to Prague and their son had an accident in the kitchen and almost severed his finger. This family was able to contact our insurance provider and receive the right directions to go to the right hospital that could provide care for their son Christ calls us to bear one another's burdens, and supporting our missionaries is just a way for us to come alongside them, support them, and help carry those burdens. Office of International Missions was sending a pastor uh, to Africa. They were sending him through Frankfurt, Germany. He got off the plane to get his connection, and he started having heart palpitations, and so they had to take him to the hospital. It was a real example of how our team, uh, including a, really a lot of people, Christian Belke from OIM, in St. Louis, he, he just does a, a magnificent job of coordinating these kinds of things. We often talk about the need to send missionaries or why the push to send missionaries around the world, when in reality it's really more of a pull from the different corners of the earth. People are very interested in what the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod can offer. We have requests coming from countries where there's one pastor serving a thousand people who himself has received very little theological education, all the way to church bodies of multiple millions saying, please come and help us in the theological education of our pastors or deaconesses or church workers in general. The single largest request that the Missouri Synod receives from partner churches or from future partner churches involves theological education. The Global Seminary Initiative often provides the first funding for these endeavors. In the Office of International Mission, every one of our missionaries or those who work in the St. Louis office either are directly involved in bringing the gospel to people who do not know Christ as their Savior, or they support that work. The greatest concern we have for this increased number of missionaries abroad, and, and hopefully a, a continual increase in the future, is that we have mature leadership and infrastructure in place on the field to provide care not only for the called worker but families who are walking alongside and supporting these pastors or deaconesses or teachers or administrators in some very diverse and difficult settings. The scriptural basis for how the Office of International Mission carries out its mission work comes from the very word of Christ and from the example of the early Christian church. Jesus instructed his church to go and make disciples of all nations and to love your neighbor. That was not lost on the early Christian church. That was their model, that's our model.